now we will go for the edit operation so to go for the edit operation in the JSP page I'll create an edit uh, dot uh, edit dot JSP so in that we'll see what we can do there so I just created edit dot JSP and uh, let me copy the form the the same form which we are using the in uh, in the insert values so let me copy all that form and come to edit.jsp and paste it here and just finish that center dot uh, center tag and I'm just uh, renaming the heading as edit values okay now uh, as we know this is the insert values dot jsp I'm going to add an insert button here so I mean edit button here uh, now go to the jsp page again insert values so I'm going to add one more column here and I'm giving an href value to that edit.jsp so it will be like href and give that edit.jsp as the href link and give a message here edit okay now let's go to the page and refresh here it will come here edit okay so if you are going clicking the edit it is taking me to edit values dot jsp now so if i'm uh, going to click user 2 dot uh, user 2 data to edit the uh, the details the current value should be should come here so for that we'll have to uh, do some queries here now uh, we'll be using the serial number as uh, the identification of uh, the object or the user so if you are uh, uh, clicking edit on this user we should pass uh, the serial number to that page okay so to pass serial number to that page we have to pass uh, through href or uh, url uh, url parameter passing so it will be like in the edit so just give a question mark and give a parameter name as sl number and just give a uh, tag here and just copy that SL number here okay now I'm saving it now let me refresh this now if I'm just hovering to this you can see down uh, the serial number okay one more thing we just we forgot to put a zero here uh, equal to here now if I'm just clicking this one you can see I'm passing SL number here and same way if I am passing uh, clicking user 4 I am passing SL number 4 ok now with this SL number we have to take data all these data from the database ok now to take that value we, can, we have to use a uh, parameter here parameter get parameter value okay, so it's like string SL number is equal to uh, request dot get parameter and the string value here and we should uh, type cast that one to string again okay now you can see i can just uh, display this sl number in this uh, sl number area you can see here if i'm giving a value tag here and pasting that sl number in this uh, tags what is the other coming value and I'm just giving that a cell number here okay I had to close that tag again okay now let's see if I'm refreshing this one it will be shown here okay the 4 is coming here if I'm going to 3 user 3 here I can uh, show that 3 here okay now we have to take username mobile and email uh, which corresponds to the serial number 3 so in uh, the Java uh, in the java src packages i am i'm going to create a new class uh, the class name i'm giving it as uh, edit values here we will be writing a method to return uh, the object of the user which is belong to one particular serial number okay so for that i am going to use the same uh, method here let me copy paste this one and i'll do a modification in that so let me copy paste this completely to edit values 
and just paste it here and uh, this method is going to return me the user bin for any serial number we are passing in it okay so i am passing a serial number here string sl number and we have to update the query as uh, select star from user where sl number is equal to question mark and we have to set that uh, uh, string as ps dot uh, set string and uh, it is the first argument is the sl number okay now this is uh, execute query but we don't need the list because since it is only one object we can use directly uh, the user bin object here now let me remove all these we don't need to add to the list and we can just return the object of this user bin okay now we are all set to take uh, the value uh, get value of user i'm just updating the uh, method name so if you are uh, passing a string uh, a sl number here it, it is going to return uh, the user bin with the, all the uh, all the data like serial number email id a uh, username and mobile number okay now let's go to the edit.jsp and let me copy this uh, class name and in the edit.jsp we can call uh, this uh, you can create an object of this edit values and now we have to create an object of uh, the the user bin it's like user bin uh, just create it object of user bin is equals now uh, uh, import this one by pressing control space now obj edit values dot get value of string of uh, get, get value of user and we are passing this sl number okay now this is going to return us uh, the complete uh, details of the user which is having the serial number now we can use uh, this user bin object in the text boxes to show all the values just give a uh, value uh, attribute the and inside the java tags just we can show the complete value of that so let me paste it dot get username and same way let me copy this value to this mobile and email id and update here get mobile and get email now we can just restart the server again and let's go back to the insert values.jsp and wait for the uh, tomcat server to be restarted and just refresh here okay so it's restarted successfully now if i'm going to click the user 2 and see if i'm clicking user 2 it is going to pass the serial number here and it is going to take all the values here okay so in the uh, text boxes we got all the values from the database now we have to create the functionality of edit operation a with the, this form okay so first i'm going to change this insert into edit we know the value is edit okay now we have to go to the edit values dot java we have to create uh, the uh, edit operation functionality here in the model class so let me copy the same code of uh, get values again and paste it here paste it here and i am going to update uh, the uh, uh, method name as edit user and we are going to pass one complete uh, one complete object of user bin okay and this is not going to return anything that will be void we have to update all four columns as we show uh, as we uh, have username email and uh, mobile number we have to update these three columns uh, from this edit operation so the query will be like update user uh, set username equal to question mark comma uh, email is equal to question mark and uh, mobile equal to question mark where sl number is equal to zero okay now if you are if you are setting each uh, parameters here as one two three it will be updated according to the serial number we passed okay now we have to set the parameter like one two three four 
so first parameter is the username so obj user bin dot get use get as uh, username and next get email id and next get mobile and the last one is get serial number okay now here it is this is one two three four and this is not an execute query we don't need the result set at all we can remove it completely and uh, return statement also we can remove it and this is only execute update okay now we have to pass the object of the new uh, object of the new user uh, data to this method so for that we have to create a new controller same like in uh, insert controller i'm going to copy paste this one as uh, edit controller one more thing as edit controller edit controller so in the edit controller what we are going to do is we are going to set each of these values to a, a user bin object so let me create a new user bin object here it's like obj user bin equals new user bin we have we just created new user bin object so import it from that just press control space till import automatically now set each values uh, to this one so obj user bin dot set sl number is equal to sl number right and same way so i have set all other variables all other uh, variables to the object and now we can pass uh, the this object to the edit values dot java it's a class now let me replace all this one so it's like edit values is equal to new edit value so i have just created uh, the object of that class just import it by pressing control space now we can just pass the our new user object to the new um, method here edit user okay we have just passed it there so after passing after editing we will return to the insert values dot jsp okay now we can test this one let me restart the server here now uh, going to our edit dot jsp we have to pass this to the edit controller so let me copy this link here edit controller and paste it here and yes we are all set now we can just update uh, this one with our uh, controller i mean with this edit.jsp now going back uh, to the page refreshing the page completely now i am going to edit this user user for now just click edit and you can see i'm going to edit the username as uh, 444 and the mobile number as 444333 let me update it like that and the user email as user44 at gmail.com okay now if i'm just clicking edit on this one you can see here the user uh, for has been updated okay now i'll try one more i'll try to edit this one uh, this mobile 6666667767 and if i'm just clicking edit here you can see here the data operation has been successfully completed now the final process what we have to do is the delete operation so we'll go for that delete operation which is a simple one now to get the delete operation